Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be solving a question involving certs together. So stay tuned. Before we get to our problem, do you know what a cert is? If you do, comment down below on what you think a cert is. So let's look at our problem. We have square root of 8 minus square root of 32 over 4 plus square root of 200 over 5. The question is to simplify this expression. The first thing to do is to look at the number inside the square root and then to factorize the perfect square out. So when we have a square root, for example, here we have square root 8. So square root of 8, when we look at 8 and we factorize the perfect square out. So here 4 is the perfect square. The square root of a perfect square will give us a whole number. So for example, the square root of 4 is 2 and therefore 4 is a perfect square. So here we can write it as 4 times 2. Then let's look at the other one, square root 32. So square root of 32, number 32, we can factorize 16. So we can write it as 16 times 2. And then for 200, 100 is a perfect square. So we can write it as square root of 100 times 2. The reason we choose a perfect square is because this is a square root. Once we factorize all the perfect squares from the number inside the square root, then we can apply the first law. Whenever we have square root of a number multiplied by another number, we can separate them out. So square root of 4 times 2 can be written as square root of 4 times square root of 2. The same as square root of 16 times 2 can be written as square root of 16 times square root of 2. So we are basically separating the number. Both still have square root. And then square root of 100 times 2 can be written as square root of 100 times square root of 2. Once we've done this, then we can actually square root the perfect square. So this is why we factorize the perfect square in the first step. Because when we square root a perfect square, we can get a whole number. So square root of 4, square root of 4 would give us 2, square root of 16 will give us 4, and square root of 100 will give us 10. So this is our third 2. Once we've done this, let's look back at our expression. Of course, when you're attempting this question for your exams or even for your own practice, you don't have to pick them out and do them separately. You can do them directly in the expression itself. So this would equals to square root of 8 we already established is 2 square root 2 so 2 square root 2 minus square root of 32 is 4 square root 2 4 square root 2 over 4 and then we have square root of 200 which is 10 square root 2 so this will be written as 10 square root 2 over 5 here now we can simplify this look at the fractions so here we have 4 over 4 and 10 over 5 so 4 and 4 both you can divide by 4 we get 1 and 1 10 and 5, both you can divide by 5, so we get 2 and 1. This will become 2 third 2 minus third 2 plus 2 third 2. So here, remember that if when third 2 is by itself, it is 1 third 2. Don't forget there is a 1 here. We just don't write it down, but there is a 1 here. So this is 2 minus 1 plus 2. Now once we have this expression here, then we can apply another law of thirds. So when you look at the cert, you can treat the cert just like any other constant. You can make it into x or y or z or apples for example. So this will be 2 apples minus 1 apple plus 2 apples. You just treat the cert to as a constant. For If you're more familiar with x then you can treat this as 2x minus x plus 2x. Substitute square root of 2, substitute the cert as a single constant then when you look at it like that it is just 2 minus 1 plus 2 so 2 minus 1 is 1 1 plus 2 is 3 so how many third twos do we have here 3 the answer we get is 3 third 2 that's it for this video guys we'll be doing more complicated questions as we go along if you have any question in particular you'd like me to try please comment below and i'll take a look at it if you've learned something, don't forget to hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.